What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully make your relationship excite, ignite, and be taken to all new, healthy, loving, pleasurable levels, right? I like that. And, um, you know, this is stuff that we've gathered over the years in our relationship of 16, going on 17 years here. Woo! And... You know, everything that we've witnessed, whether it's our friends or people watching or family members go through their relationships and their trials and tribulations and picking up that knowledge along the way. And, you know, it, it's kind of what you do to be better, right? If you want to really be better at something, you pick up the knowledge of how to be better and you apply that. So this is the exact same concept, right? I know mm -hmm. love is not easy and, you know, everybody wants to find, I believe, true love or somebody that loves them. Yeah. Right? When you find it, you should probably hold on to it. And people, I want to say, you know, they're needy. They, they want it so bad, right? That but they're not willing to work for it. Well, some people... you got to work for it. Some people will even, even be ran over just to be in a relationship with somebody, right? Like right. a guy like, with a girl maybe, and she, he thinks that she's prettier than him, and he'll just do whatever he needs to do, and she treats him like crap. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. relationships like that. But today, we're going to talk about something different. We want to talk about... Not putting the relationship on autopilot. I think this is a great conversation for people out there. I think so. Um, the reason is, is because, you know, you want structure. You want a good, healthy routine, you know, because that keeps you in check. That keeps you moving forward and, and optimal, right? Like even for me, like, you know, waking up every morning, like doing what I need to do, like getting this all done, right? Take <laughs> Peter there. So you have a routine in the morning and if you stick in that routine, you can do a lot of great things. But, you know, sometimes we get in that routine and we get stuck in that routine. And at that point, we don't even think about it or lose sight of, you know, our relationship with our partner. And is that flourishing? Are you working towards that too, right? Because you want to just keep building that relationship and, and doing more things for that relationship too, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to nurture it and you want to make sure that you're aware that, hey, listen, we need to do some different things out of our routine sometimes. And this is where the weekend comes into play or maybe even after work or at night, depending if you have kids or whatever it is, mm -hmm. because that plays a role too. If you're single or you guys are- You can do whatever you want, you're free. Yeah, if you guys don't have no kids in a marriage, then you guys can pretty much, I don't feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> you guys can plan and do whatever you want to do, right? You don't have to worry about kids or babysitters or, or whatever it is, the accommodation. All you have to worry about is you and your partner. And that's easy. it. That's easy life. Very simple. So you guys got it easy. Mm -hmm. So plan some different things and what you want to do. And, you know, like do some trips if you can do that or whatever it is. The mini trips, whatever. I mean, this will keep things fresh. And you guys can even go to dinner or maybe a movie. But change things up, right? So if you're already doing that, do something a little bit different or go to a different restaurant. Or do something that's a whole new experience. Mm -hmm. And if you do things like this, this is what resonates with your partner. I think this is... Uh, worth more than money in most circumstances and cases with partners. They want the, the attention. They want the love. They want the affection. And I think that that's what we really need to work on uh, in the relationship. And that's not putting on autopilot. Autopilot's really easy. You get up. You guys do your routine. You guys go to bed. And you guys wake up and do the exact same thing over and over. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. I think it's hard sometimes to get out of the autopilot because you're so, especially me, like I'm a very structured, organized person. I have like timelines for everything, right? So it's like, I only have one hour to do this. And then a, and then a timer goes off on my phone and then I got to do this. And then it's like, it's moving to the next, moving to the next. And by the time, you know, you get home and then you eat dinner and you do all these things, you're like, okay, I'm tired. Like I want to go to sleep. <laughs> That's how that goes down, you know? So it's like, even if you have the weekend, the weekend's probably going to be one of your best things, especially if you're married yes. with kids, yes. um, you know, try to do something out of the routine. Like you said, you know, um, do some, go somewhere, book a hotel somewhere, maybe, yeah. um, just have some time for you guys and mm -hmm. focus on that. You know, some like business owners like us, right. We're constantly focusing on the next best thing for the business and then the next best thing for, for this. And then the next best thing for our son. And then the next, best, but we, I, we really haven't really talked or thank God me and John are in a good place where the autopilot hasn't been too bad because we're in a good place. And we worked very hard to get to this place, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that, you know, it's not just the autopilot. You want to do something fun or 
you know, me and John go to the movies every every Thursday night, and we've been doing mm-hmm. that for 16 years. But you know, mm-hmm. I think that's still like a semi autopilot. So you got to do something that's like way out of you know, way out there. Yeah, well, I mean, we do a lot. I mean, you so got any point, ideas? What can they do? Yeah. What locally if you're living in Florida? No, like what can you do to get out of auto- autopilot? You do something that's different out of your routine. So, like what? So it, it, like, let's say like uh, if you're going to the movies all the time, then at that point go do something active, right? Go, go to a trampoline place. I mean, you can do that. <laughs> that. That's a really good one. Jumpy houses. I'm sure you can do that now. If you're like, well, I don't want to do that. That's for kids. Or I've been injured and I can't do that. And you have to start getting creative in some sort of ways. Now, it really depends on what you like to do, right? Like, for instance, I'm a comic book junkie. Comic-Con Tampa is coming in the next week or so. That's something we're going to do, right? That comes around once a year, so I guess it's our routine too because I do it all the time. (laughs) But this is something that you can do when you are not in that routine. You can be like, oh, man, like we haven't done this in a while. Let's go do this. And, And that's cool, right? Or even, like I said, like, something you've done in the past that you haven't done in a long time that was really, really cool and really going to do that again, then mm-hmm. that just re- reignites those old memories of how yeah. good it was. And hopefully you have another good experience there or wherever it's at. And that just adds the memories. Like, man, you know, it's like us when we go, on, we go on a trip for Sharice's birthday every year. Like, we can recount, like, we've been to this house, right? right? Yeah. In Cabo, like, a and couple times. And we're like, man, like, this is just awesome. And that year we did this. And this year we did this, you know? So... It's something that you can compound, right? You know, you've heard of compound interest with money. You're compounding those good memories for a fuller, better life and relationship with your partner. So I get this is really, really cool, you know, at that point. And just look at it. You might think like, because some people, they don't recognize it. If people recognize they were on autopilot or just routinely. I mean, I think the partner might recognize it before you if they don't want to be in that routine because they're like, oh man, this is boring to me, right? <laughs> I don't want to do this. This is boring. Like, I'm so sick of this. I need somebody so unpredictable and flying by the seat of their pants because I need some excitement in my life. Oh, boy. So you don't, you don't want to be that. I like to be the square, right, because it fits. But, um, you know, at that point, like, uh, you can't. You, you can't be that. You have to have some, um, some little bit of unpredictability on what you're going to do in certain times, right? Mm-hmm. So at that point, like, whether it's, you know, you, you, anniversaries, you, you go to the same place every year, and me and Sharice do this, right? We do. <laughs> but it might be fun to change it up sometimes. Right? Actually, okay, actually, while we're on that topic, anniversaries, right? You know, we had an event last year, and typically on our anniversary is the second trip of the year, or I should say the first trip of the year, it's the first trip, and then yeah. the birthday is the second trip. Yeah. We usually go somewhere, just me and him. Yeah. We just go, and we don't bring any friends. We don't do anything else. We don't even bring Peter. It's just me and him. We go somewhere. But last year, we didn't do it. Yeah. And I do feel like that kind of threw us out of like a routine to some degree because I'm like, we need to go. I don't care about the event. Like, yeah. we should still go on our trip because our thing, you know? So I think this year we should go on our trip. Absolutely. So we should start, you should start looking at that now. I'll start looking at that. <laughs> I love you. So that's how it goes. <laughs> so guys, I hope you guys like this tip. Don't throw it on autopilot. Be a little bit unpredictable. Be a great person at that too. So we're here for you guys every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. from Crystal River, Sarasota. It's a big gap, a lot of people. So I hope you guys like our show. If you guys do, please comment uh, on the videos that you guys see or you guys can you know write us and tell us how much you love us. Hopefully you guys do that too. Send me a letter. We'll be here for you guys. <laughs> if you guys don't get to watch it live, you guys can DVR it. Or if you guys aren't in the local area or whatever, you guys are probably watching this on our full YouTube channel. And if not, go to our YouTube channel, type Medical Center, go there, subscribe, hit the all notification bell so you guys get all the cool content from me and Sharice. And you can check out our social media platforms too as well. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all those good places. We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week for the Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. See you then.